Hello everyone, it's Vegan Cheetah for you. Most destructive aspect about my addiction is spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars that I have either made or I have stolen for drugs. I am a convicted felon and I'm on felony probation as a result of my drug addiction. Now that being said, I don't ever think of myself as a bad person. It's, it's an interesting thing to ponder. Um, you know, like I said, I have a lot of character defects. I'm a very ungrateful person. I'm a very selfish person. Get, I would get right up in between those butt cheeks and dominate her anal cavity every single night. And by the time she's 45 years old, she's going to be shitting in a diaper. I bend you over and social media fuck you in the ass and take all your subs. Girl should look in my personality. Charles. I have a son who is diagnosed with mental retardation. He didn't get oxygen to the brain quickly enough at birth. So this hurts my heart, because I'm a viewer. My son gets called retarded, and bullied. This is gonna be good. Charles, I have a son who is diagnosed with mental retardation. He didn't get oxygen to the brain quick enough at birth. So this hurts my heart because I'm a viewer. My son is called retard and bullied. Well listen, if this is true, then you should get the fuck out of my anons and take care of your retarded kid. Then you should get the fuck out of my anons and take care of your retarded kid. And if it weren't for the fact that I'm on felony probation, I don't know, man. I, I feel like it's a huge motivational factor in my recovery, the fact that if I wasn't on felony probation, I, I, I don't know, man. Uh, it's, it's an interesting thing to ponder. Right? I go through mental relapses almost every single day where it's like, and no, Charlie, you need to like check your thinking here and start redirecting your thoughts somewhere else. I do want to thank Jeff and his family because they've been so good to me and I'm gonna literally bend him over this fucking desk right here and I'm gonna fuck him in the ass until he calls me daddy. The fucking knees and suck my cock! Because I can fuck her in the ass 24-7, I'm gonna make her my sub, I'm gonna dominate over her, I'm gonna dom dominate her anal cavity every single night, and by the time she's 45 years old, she's gonna be shitting in a diaper. The chances that I'll never do that again are, you know, <laughs> we shouldn't even go there. So I have severe flaws in my personality, I'm a very ungrateful person, I'm a very selfish person, that were kind of like uh, precursors to my addiction, and it's something I'll be struggling with the rest of my life. So the last point I want to make in this video is that when I found veganism, I was in early... Vegan Cheetah. He's not vegan, alright? This is a screen grab I just got of one of his vlogs where he ate... He says he accidentally ate cheese. So I want you to notice that this sandwich has not been eaten yet, alright? It is untouched. And you can see that there is melted cheese sprinkled on top of this damn sandwich, alright? There's no accident when you admit that there's cheese on it and then you consume it and you try to say that you're vegan, all right? The hypocrisy is fucking astounding, all right? And I'm really pissed off that this keeps perpetuating and going on and on and everybody seems to think that it's okay that Charles calls himself a vegan, yet he eats cheese, yet he buys fucking chicken ramen noodles. It's bullshit, people. Wake the hell up. Look right there for yourself. There's cheese. Watch the damn video. You judge for yourself. Don't make the reality that you want to see. Realize what's in front of your eyes and wake the hell up. That's damn cheese. He chooses to eat it. You don't choose an accident. How is it so far? Wonderful. Wonderful? Can I try one of your chips? Thanks, bro. Oh, is that cheese on the bread? It looks like cheese. We're just gonna pretend it's not there. And there's that part of me that really does want to use still. You know, there's a part of me every single day because it gives me a higher purpose. So if your counselors or your sponsors or whatever are telling you, listen, you need to find a higher power, you need to get connected with God, you know, that could mean whatever you want it to mean. For me, it meant you know, getting in the gym, you know, continuing what I was doing when I was in jail. 
I'm a business man. I'm trying to run a business. And yes, my addiction has translated into the more positive aspects of my life because take away the drugs and the alcohol, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I but staying in is a huge piece of this man. Will I be clean a couple of days from now, a year from now? I have no fucking idea. But I feel like in the moment, that is meaningless to even vented with an idea. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I'm never gonna use drugs again, but I'm clean today, and if you wanna eat shit in a bucket, nigga, that's fine. I'm just a social media personality. Calling my name right, I really don't care what they say about me, to be honest with you. So ethical vegans can get on their salty fucking knees and suck my cock!